The royal sites of Ireland were the seats of the Gaelic kings and hosted ceremonies like kingly inaugurations, assemblies, games and much more. These sites, rich in ancient monuments such as standing stones, Neolithic burial mounds and chambers and enclosures have cultural significance dating back thousands of years, some of which are the oldest in Europe if not the whole world. Six significant sites are Tara, Ishnock, Cashel, Dunalin, Navenfort, Rachrahan. Features of these sites include ring barrows, hill forts and other unique structures. Inauguration ceremonies were elaborate, often involving rituals symbolizing the union of the king with the sacred goddess of the land. UNESCO, the ensembles of monuments of the royal sites are universally unique through their well-preserved cultural continuity and large-scale Iron Age complexes. The royal sites were sacred sites and places of royal inauguration and bear exceptional testimony to Iron Age civilization. Historically, their roots go back to the Neolithic period and they illustrate significant stages in human history through the large array of monuments ranging from Bronze Age tumuli to Iron Age ring forts and to early Christian architecture. Take for example the Mag Adar. This is where the kings of the Dalcassians including Brian Baru were inaugurated as the Dalcassian king. This site had actually a sacred tree which was sometimes used as a part of the ritual. For instance, in this respect, they would have taken a branch where the king would hold the branch while being inaugurated. This specific site, and to show the importance, came to historical significance when Brian's rival, the High King from the Eneals at the time, Maliki Moore, came down and struck down the tree, which proved to be a very big mistake. And this shows us that these sites were not just important to the people that were involved in these sites, but they were actually culturally significant throughout the land. The Royal Sites of Ireland represent a unique blend of history, archaeology and mythology, illustrating the complex socio-political landscape of ancient Ireland. These sites were not just political centers, but also held religious and ceremonial significance reflecting the intertwined nature of secular and spiritual power in early Irish society. The archaeological remains found at these sites provide big evidence into the rituals and beliefs of the time. They also offer a unique window into the Iron Age world as a whole and into ancient Irish society's artistic and construction skills with intricate carvings, sophisticated archaeological designs. UNESCO, the integrity of these sites. Based on preliminary observations, the sites appear largely intact and to have retained their original attributes. Overall, the sites are well preserved and retain high visual landscape qualities. The preservation and study of these sites are crucial for understanding the evolution of Irish culture and identity. However, these sites face environmental changes, vandalism and neg neglect threats. For instance, recently at the Hill of Tara, there was people that went up and graffitied the stone, calling it a fake. However, efforts to protect these sites alongside the push for their recognition as UNESCO World Heritage Sites underscore their importance to Ireland and the global heritage. This recognition aids conservation efforts and helps educate further generations about Ireland's rich history. The story of these royal sites is a testament to Ireland's enduring legacy from its ancient kings to its present status as a custodian of significant global heritage. UNESCO, in general, sites illustrating the early evolution of man during the Iron Age are underrepresented on the World Heritage List. Now, this shows us something about Ireland's ancient past and how important it is and how cut off we can be from it because of colonialism 
and the Roman propaganda that has infiltrated all of our consciousness. There is this tendency to believe that Ireland's ancient past, we were a bunch of barbarians and there was nothing here, there was nothing going on that Romans didn't want, etc. Which is complete and utter nonsense because these sites show us that there was an intricate cultural and traditional society living here and they were very much systemized working in tandem and also providing a cultural landscape that's quite unique the conquering didn't happen until the anglo-normans this really protected these sites and thank god for that Thank you so much for watching the whole video. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will get more of this content to you directly. If you feel like it and you want to contribute to me creating more content for you, make sure you check out my links. You can find a PayPal link there. You can contribute one time to me. Even better, for you to get more value, more content, you can join my Patreon. The link is in the description as well. Also, you can find me across all social media. I'm on all the major platforms. All the links are in the description.